Good afternoon, cyber traders, and welcome for the afternoon meeting here at Cyber Trading Cyber Group Room on the uh, August of 7th. How's everybody doing? All right, good to see you. Gamey, Ken, good to see you all. Let me just bring this up over here so everybody can see. All right. Good to see everybody. Excellent. All right, Ted, everybody. Perfect. I nice see you all. All right, guys. Uh, Amy, good to see you. Benito, good, good, good. All right, guys, so let's do a little shopping and talk about what happened so far for today. We had a really, really good morning. And uh, I, you know what? Didn't I tell you this morning was going to be a really good morning? I said, you know what? You know, it's rainy. It's kind of crappy outside. Traders will probably be home. Don't have nothing nowhere to go. Summer has been cold lately. Um, I had a good day. I caught a nice. I finally broke my record and caught a nice big fish. But it, but I'm not going back out. I figured let's do some trading today, and uh, it overall worked out really really nicely. So want to kind of like uh, bring out a couple of stocks that we traded. First of all, let's talk about some of the winners that we had. I'm going to bring it up over here. All right, so uh, I'm going to talk about the big winner, not yet, the MYOK, which is what we have up right now. But let's talk about some other ones that we had that were pretty good. The Hertz, the HTZ did really, really well and still pretty strong. I'm still keeping that on the watch list. The HTZ, some of you guys did really went. Uh, ben, actually, let's give him a round of applause. Ben made 73 cents on that. All right, let's give Ben a round of applause. Good for you, Ben. All right. And uh, another big winner that we had that also did really well was the uh, TEVA trade. You could see that had a nice little correction coming down. That stock got hit so bad. And I told you, eventually things are going to come back. I mean, something has got to give. And this one had a really nice bounce. It went from $18.90 all the way up to about nineteen sixty, And then it came right back down on the short. But some of you guys did really, really well on it. Um, who did really well on it? Ben made $0.35. Cents. Uh, John made, you know, 18 cents. Hey, a winner, money's money, right? So everybody did pretty well on that one. Give you guys a round of applause on that one. And uh, the big winner I do want to talk about is obviously, which I showed you just a minute ago, was the MYOK. So this one, um, I haven't seen a stock like this in a while. We haven't seen one in a while that went from 16 all the way to 31. Now, this was a great, great mover. Uh, let me just zoom in a little bit more on the intraday chart. But you could see here on the pre-market, we found it in the pre-market this morning, and it just came right out of the gate. Did a little Fausto flag, which we talked about this morning, and then from there, from 24, it was off to the races. Now, I um, want to make a big, big shout-out. My buddy from Florida, Ken Thal, made $1,600. Ken, when do you make $1,600 being a pharmacist, right, in an hour's worth, right? So let's give Ken a nice little bat, big round of applause. He, Ken says, man, I could use $1,600, right, Ken? Good for you. And a lot of you also did pretty well on that. I know um, going across the board, but the only thing that was, you have to be concerned about is that a big spread right here, uh, there's a little bit more of a scalping stock. So you could see what I always told you, when you have big spreads, you make big money. Um, but it was a nice stock. It went up nice and slowly, went up pretty easily. And uh, you had to be an advanced trader. You had to be one of our level, almost a four, three, may, maybe, you know, but Probably a four it got to one point with the MYOK. But that's, hey, listen, this is what we train for. So this is what's awesome about being part of the cyber group room, of going out there, finding these great winners, and moving on. Now, it's very interesting that the stock kind of like went up about 1030 and kind of stopped right here. So I want to see what's going to do going into the close. So the MYOK, I want to keep an eye on it. And then, uh, listen, you know, I'm tired of talking about dryers, but I, hopefully no one's tired of me talking about race, right? Let's talk about Ferrari. Uh, race came out of nowhere, almost a, almost tested that big high, about eleven um, one hundred eleven dollars. So we're really cleaning up on that stock. And you know, I, I don't know when I'm going to stop talking about it. All I can tell you is I kind of went went all in on this trade, uh, on my swing trade. I know my brother's ecstatic. You know, got in a minute. I, I, and I told you, this is a stock actually I bought. Um, I had to go to one of my niece's, um, my nephew's uh, daughter's uh, first birthday, and I bought it for her. That's, I remember I was telling you, one of the greatest gifts you could give if you're in this business, stop giving money and presents to these kids, okay? 
go buy him some stock. Put him in something because you know what? You know what the parents are going to do. They're probably going to blow it off and pay for the thing. Give them something they deserve. Think about it. How many of you here wished that you know you, you if you you would you bought them Apple for their for their communion or their first birthday or or whatever it may be their graduation? You guys forget it. You would have loved it, right? It, it, it was a lot further than giving them two, three, four hundred dollar gift. You know, um, even if it's a hundred dollar gift. Just buy the stock, be the custodian, trust me. Buy some, you know, bought Facebook. Believe me, you teach them about money, and that's what they need right now. So that was awesome. Uh, she's driving that young. Yeah, well, Ken, like I told you, if I can't not afford the, comp- the, you know, the car, we could definitely afford the stock. And it's still, you know, you still could play the game with it. But I'm going to be talking about it every day until, you know, I'll try, I'll try to hold myself back, but we're doing great. Remember I told you this morning, I was at my country club this, uh, this week, and I met a bunch of traders. Uh, that were there, and, we'll, uh, and they would ask me, Fausto, what's moving? And they're like, you guys have been trading race? And they're like, I didn't even know the company was even public. You know, they couldn't even believe it. The thing is, even, they, even though, because it doesn't trade any volume. Look at it, 285,000 shares, doesn't trade volume. So anyway, not only do we day trade here at the Cyber Group Room, we also do a lot of swing trading and options, and that was obviously the good call. And we're going to keep a close eye on it, too. Now let's get back to the day trading mode. We know we had a buyout with this, with this, N, uh, this NXTM, so that, that has gone. It's over. That ship has sailed. You know, there was a couple of stocks that were in the – Below the dollar range, which you know I'm not a fan of. I want to stay away from them. But I do want to keep an eye on this one right here. This ONDK trade, it's got a nice little push. It's at the highs of the day. Um, got a very decent spread. Volume, 2 million shares, not terrible. You know, pretty good. You could see when you look at the big percentage gainers, not a lot of big volume. A lot of 2 million, million, you know. But they're going up nicely like this BITA. You know, big spread though. You know, you got to be careful, but, you know, she's got a little shakes, but, you know, she's breaking a higher high. It was from 32 to 34, 37. It's not bad, 15% move. But uh, remember what I taught you in classes, guys. Remember, you have to learn how to buy on the bid and sell on the offer. That's what scalping is all about. Now, this stock, you know, I saw it earlier. I thought it was going to come back. I saw that little bounce earlier, and it never came back. Remember, we talked about this this morning. We said, Boom. Oh, look at that. Pharmaceutical stock. What do we know about pharmaceutical stock? They don't come back. Okay? When they get crushed, they get destroyed. It is testing some major support levels, so we could probably, you know, we'll see if the CEOs start getting a little desperate and want to buy back their stock. But I'll put it on the watch list just because it was awesome to see something get killed and being down 60%, not knowing that could ever happen, but it sure could, you know? Hey, you want to hold overnights? Knock yourself out. There you go. Uh, that was garbage. Not looking at that one. There was one more here that I thought we should keep an eye on. I think it was this one right here. Yeah, it's on the short list. It was breaking lower lows. That was about it. So I think we, I think we pretty much got all we need. All right, we got a good five stocks going into this afternoon. Um, especially if you did well with the MYOK. Uh, you guys should be taking the rest of the day off. <laughs> All right, so what are we missing? That uh, do Anybody want me to look at something that I did not call out? Anything I'm missing, everyone? ON. ON's got a nice push. You know, it's got decent, it's got good volume, good spread. You know, it had a little bit of a turn right there, right around the 130. But it looks like she's probably going to test the 1620. I like that a lot. That's a pretty good one on Andrea. I like that one. All right. I would definitely throw that in the watch list. Anything else? Good call, though. <laughs> Grazie to my Italian uh, Canadian friend. <laughs> Anything else? I think that's about it, guys. All right. So, um, listen, sorry about this morning's YouTube video. I didn't get a chance to get it posted. I uh, got a little corrupted, but we got this one uh, recorded, so we'll get it up immediately so you guys go back and review it. And once again, if you like what you see, just click the like button. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to put them up on your, you know, ask questions in that YouTube video. In the meantime, cyber traders, I know we had a lot of trial members here. They probably have never seen a stock like MYOK. I got a couple of emails from new trial members like, is that like normal? I'm like, uh, it's normal. You know, if you're thinking like once a week, you know, but we get these all the time. I mean, not every day some people see a stock up, you know, almost uh, 81%, you know, in the day, not overnight. Because people always ask me, was that an overnight trade or was that a, uh, 
No, it's right there in the market, you know, but that's what we trained for. So, you know, there was a lot of other ones that did well, and you guys did pretty well, and uh, that's all that matters. And if you didn't get anything, guys, listen, it's okay. It's a, this is not like a, you know, a one-shot get rich deal. There's going to be new ones that will always come up. As long as you learn, you will earn. All right, everyone? Uh, Ken says, uh, finally showing life. Okay, Ken Cheating wants me to just look. Is KKII is finally showing some life? I don't know what life you're looking at, but it's kind of like holding a little, maybe a little life, but other than that, it had a nice little push, but I would probably stay away from it, Ken. All right? All right, everybody. Good luck today. Happy trading, and uh, let's see what we do going to this close. If I don't see you until close, see you tomorrow morning. Good luck.